UnbelievableBeats.com production. Hi, this is Sean Friedman with UnbelievableBeats.com. Just want to give a quick tutorial on how to use two screens on your PC um, so you can have a better workflow using FL Studio or Reason. Um, just a couple settings, um, and then if you look right here, here's my mouse, and watch when I go to the right. There, it's going on that screen just as an example. So that works with any program you have, the internet, and of course, FL Studio or Reason. But uh, first couple settings, you're going to want to connect your new screen. Uh, this is a pretty much a newer screen. Here's my existing computer. Um, you, you can connect it with a monitor cord, pretty much a standard monitor cord. And hopefully it just connects to the back of your computer. Um, or you might need an adapter, or you have to get the right cord, obviously. Okay, right-click on your base computer and go to Screen Resolution, or something similar in your control panel. And where it says Multiple Displays, I just went to Extend These Displays, and that pretty much means it extends. And watch when I drag this. See, there it goes, and that could obviously be any, any workflow you have for any music, any music program. Uh, I'm using FL Studio and Reason. And also on the resolution, even though it said 1600 by 900 recommended, I changed it to 1280 by 720. And that makes FL Studio a little bigger. You can see FL Studio better that way. Okay, uh, launched FL Studio. And if you want to use the mixer, go to the left hand corner where that little arrow is in the left hand corner of the mixer and you have to click detached and when you click detached it could actually be detached and go to the other screen. So detached has, has to be checked and then you can move the mixer over Okay, see, look, deta detach was actually just unchecked, and that was a good example. Now, detached is checked, and now I can move it to the right, and I can see everything. And that's not a huge deal, but for reason, and there's reason, reason it makes it much easier for your workflow. I move over my whole reason rewired session. Now I can actually change things. I'll change the Dr. Rex for you. Just tweak a few things, see if you can hear it. Um, I'm going to tweak that little drum loop. See, I just changed the envelope amount. Lower, lowering it back down. Back up. Back down. But it makes it easier to see these knobs. It makes it easier to see everything on reason. Not just Dr. Rex, obviously, but all your sound modules, Redrum, NXT, blah, 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 blah. So, and also I could still put the mixer over there. Now I got my, um, see what else I can do. I got, now you got your browser. Got your browser. Your sounds. You got your step sequencer. Got your reason. And you got your mixer. Not a huge deal for the mixer. Well, actually it could be. If you got a bunch of tracks, you could extend it. Damn. Now you can see everything that's going on. This is showing me 56 mixer tracks right here. Pretty crazy. And I can go on there, make it smaller around with reason and that's pretty much it um, good luck with your projects and let me know if you have any questions in an email and Sean Friedman with unbelievable beats signing off unbelievable production